USMC improved bivy, heavy rain. Inside is your your pretty basic um, nylon sleeping bag, I guess. It's a snug pack jungle bag. So we're gonna let this sit out here for a little while. See what it's like. It'd probably be better with someone inside. Now, this thing is obviously, well not obviously, but seemingly doing okay. I think we need a, some kind of analog inside to raise those seams. What am I wearing? L.O. Bean. Just a shell. I pulled out the, the puppy earlier. With marmot pants. So this thing has been sitting out in the rain. It seems to be holding water fairly well, so to speak. Still a light drizzle. Like the DWR treatment kind of takes a hit. Just, I guess, pretty typical with nylon. I don't know if you can see through the mesh. This is the way I wish things were designed with the rain cover inside. Now we'll take a look on the inside here in just a second. seen that before. Oh well. For those who don't know, down at the bottom here, they sewed in paracord. I'm the one who added the basic shock cord. Right, let's take a look. Still drizzling. That's right. There's the bottom. We obviously got it out here before it started raining. So if you're inside and you're taking the stuff out, Try to do this without 
contaminating the the experiment, so to speak. It's looking good. Looking real good. All right. Totally dry. Like I said, still a couple of drizzles here and there, dribs and drabs. So these spots are from that. Am I tempted to hop into this thing tonight? You better believe it. <laughs> it's just, it's kind of hot. Can't get away from that. See if I can do this without getting stuff wet. Don't mind my toes. Too much anyway. I've got ten of them. So, I think most people do as well. Well, very pleased with the waterproofness of the bivy. The question, of course, becomes how breathable is it? Uh, we'll find out. Because if it wasn't 70% humidity, the breathability would improve. Simple fact. <laughs> 